Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be taking a look at the PlayStation 3 RPCS3 emulator. Now I'm not too sure what version I'm running because my one auto updates every single time I launch it. So the version I'm using is the uh, 00.15, um, just read out all those numbers, it's basically an alpha build. Um, so I'm running the um, Ryzen 9 5950X, uh, completely stock settings, just use um, a bit of curve optimizer so I can boost up to 5.15 as it just saw there. So it's really good for the single core performance that the emulator needs. Also using RTX 3090. Um, you don't need a GPU like this, but it, it's always nice to have the power um, if it's required. Now I will show you something that does help. If you uh, go to the Nvidia control panel, then you go to program settings. Make sure you force your Anisa drop it filtering to 16 times. You can even use a bit of sharpening if you want. Just makes your games look a little bit better. And just force your power management to maximum performance because what you'll find is with the RPCS3 emulator, it doesn't really use much of the GPU. So uh, these GPUs will just go into basically power saving. They'll like drop down their core clock. But you want to keep your core clock and memory clock as high as possible, even though the load's light. On the GPU, you want to get the best performance. So that's one thing you can do to help things. So I'm using, I'm playing Gran Turismo HD concept. Um, it's more of a, just a game to kind of see what would be possible if Gran Turismo ever came to PC in a sense. So I'll show you the settings I'm using for the actual game. I haven't really done much uh, to it. Uh, just saying I can save these settings if I wanted to. So I am playing with a 300% resolution scale. So I'm playing at 4K. No anti-aliasing, but I've got 16 times I need to stop it filtering enabled. Frame limit is 60. You can't go over this even if you turn VSync off. And I'm using Async with Shader Interpreter. Um, audio, that's not really important. CPU, as you can see, these are the settings I'm using. SV block size at Mega. Nothing too um, different than what you'd normally run for most games. Uh, I'm not using any firmware libraries. These are all default. And these are my... Uh, uh, debug emulator settings as well so that's pretty much it for the game now the game does run rather well but there are some issues with the graphics like you get the flickering grass which I haven't been able to eliminate no matter how much I try so uh, sorry about that guys I'm just gonna reduce the size of my on-screen display so it's not too uh, what should I say it's just not being too obstructive So this this is a Japanese uh, version of the game, so um, there's no English here, but that's okay. So I've played it enough to unlock all the cars, so I'm going to be driving the Ferrari here. I'll just pick it in its uh, stock red. So you do get like graphical corruption like this. I haven't really found any settings that can eliminate that, but generally the game looks okay when you play it. So as you can see here, get in 60 frames per second and you pretty much lock that throughout. Okay, I'll try and do a quick lap here. It feels so funny to accelerate with X and break with square. Um, you can tell this game is so old because we've moved over to having the trigger buttons to uh, do the acceleration and braking because there's far more control but this is our old school Gran Turismo but it's just cool that you can actually just test these types of things on your PC so it would be nice if Gran Turismo actually ever come to PC in a proper optimized format not some kind of bootleg form where I'm running with the RPC S3 emulator which is coming on leaps and bounds now I remember there was only a handful of games that could work when it first got made and it was very very slow but now that they're using Vulkan uh, things are really really starting to progress and it's nice to be able to play even in for testing purposes these types of games imagine having Forza and Gran Turismo on PC for me, that that would just be amazing.
Yeah, it'd be nice if I could do something about the flickering grass, but unfortunately I can't. So I did beat the target time of 1... Uh, I think it was 1.25. Uh, I'll change the view now for those who want to see. Most people drive like this in Gran Turismo anyway. Most importantly though, the 5950X is doing a great job with its um, I IPC and its high boost clock to uh, make the emulator run pretty well. I mean, Ryzen has never really been known to run the RPCS3 emulator very well. But since the introduction of uh, the 5000 series, that's kind of changed. Intel still has the edge, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, the playing field has definitely been leveled a bit more. So I'll do one, I'll do finish off this lap and I'll show you a little bit of the replay. Don't know why Gran Turismo um, locks their replays at 30 FPS. Maybe it's a performance thing for the console couldn't handle it. But I um, wish there was a way to unlock that. I'm going to be bringing some more RPCS3 uh, videos in the coming weeks, but I just need to uh, get some games that work. There are a lot of problems with games, um, so, you know, the choice is, is quite limited. Um, I accelerated a bit too much over that bump, but kept it on the control, good enough. I'm pretty good here. Just gonna finish this final lap. Let's change the view again. So you can see it's pretty much a lock 60 frames per second. So you do get a good experience. And as you can see, the RTX 3090 barely um, being used, but 20% load. So it's basically idling. As you can see, my, my core clock's only 17, 40 megahertz. And that's due to the GPU load. Um, if I didn't force maximum performance, it would be even lower than that. So, uh, yeah, it does help to force your power profile to maximum performance. Let's get a bit of a higher boost clock. Anyway, that's it for the laps. Let's have a look at the replay and see what the game looks like externally. So there are some text corruption and textures that are missing, but I'm sure that will get sorted out in the future. But generally, the game looks pretty good, it has to be said. I don't think um, this was ever a proper release. I think this was just like done before they made uh, Gran Turismo 5, the prelude. So this was kind of like a test for um, Polyphony Digital. So. Yeah, I really wish they bring Gran Turismo to PC, but I don't really see that happening. That's one of their flagship games. Basically, uh, a console seller. Anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.